And it may not be the senior year they anticipated, but students across South Florida are making the most of their final days of high school. And some have really gone above and beyond over these last four years. And of course, we want to honor them. CBS 4 anchor Lauren Pastrana is shining a spotlight on senior Nicole Yedra. When I found out graduation wasn't happening, I burst into tears. But Nicole Yedra should be all smiles while looking back on all she's accomplished during her high school career. I was in SGA, a part of their leadership program. I started a club for students with special needs and general education students. They kind of got together and we had parties and we tutored them, um, talked about like bullying and all that kinds of stuff. I was a peer counselor for two years. Nicole is a senior at Fort Lauderdale High School. She's graduating with a 4.0 GPA and more than 300 service hours with groups like the Broward Youth Coalition and Latinos in Action. High school was definitely a crazy time. It was a learning curve, a different experience, but it I learned a lot, grew thicker skin, and I'm really sad it's ending this way. In addition to her schoolwork, she's also worked at Publix since her freshman year. In her spare time, she still makes it a point to give back to the community. Just wanting to help, really. Like every club, every every organization was meant to help somebody, and it was really just to put out like good positive energy into the community. Nicole plans to attend Florida Atlantic University in the fall where she intends to major in psychology, a continuation of years of volunteer work focused on mental health. I realized like, especially after my grandpa died, like just how important counseling was. And I'm like, well, this helped me I and I'm all about helping. So like if I could learn about this and, and help, like that's honestly the best thing ever. Nicole says she has a lot of people to thank for her high school success, so she plans to return to campus to show her appreciation once it's deemed safe to do so. Lauren Pastrana, CBS4 News.